Hello family and dear friends. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dominique Jacobs, eldest daughter of Neville Jacobs and goddaughter of Auntie Val. I've been asked to say a few words in tribute as her godchild. I live in Victoria, BC, Canada with my five-year-old daughter Jade. Victoria is on Vancouver Island in the Pacific Ocean, which is over 16,000 kilometers away from Cape Town. I've had a very difficult time coming up with these words as I'm still totally speechless. And as the sole child caregiver and full-time worker, and now support to my dad through this tragedy as he's here visiting us for the summer, I've not had any time to process my own feelings of grief and loss. But I can tell you that I'm angry. I'm angry at this COVID pandemic that has taken so many loved ones, not just here in Canada or in South Africa, but around the world. I'm angry at this pandemic for keeping us still so far apart, limiting funeral numbers and not allowing us to travel freely and safely. I'm angry that due to complications surrounding this pandemic, my beloved auntie died, leaving us all far too soon. We were making plans to visit at the end of 2022, and I just couldn't wait for her to see how much Jade has grown, how smart and funny she is. I just know how much joy she would have had playing with her. Auntie Val was truly selfless and all loving person. Her ability to forgive was godly. Her way of honesty and her dedication to her loved ones was immeasurable and is now her legacy. I'm broken over her sudden death and this distance that has kept me from her. In fact, I spent 72 hours straight trying to get my dad there for the funeral, making plans, remaking travel plans, but because we are so far, it would take three days to get there, plus the mandatory five-day isolation period upon arrival, plus the sheer enormous costs made this journey impossible. I'm broken that I couldn't give her a trip to Canada to visit us here over the years. I wish I had more time to spend with her as her godchild. I still cannot fathom that I will never see that beautiful smile glinting with gold, that I will never eat her most delicious milk tart and chutney chicken. My favorite was her cheddar cheese muffins, which I'd always request as a kid and she had a soda pop machine and would delight in making us all, her many nieces and nephews, our favorite cool drinks to order. What an amazing, gener generous aunt she was. I will never have long talks and watch soapies with her again. I will never see her all dressed up and ready to go out looking beautiful as ever, or hear her boisterous roaring laugh ever again. I will never get to say goodbye to her and tell her how much I loved her. It's all still so surreal. She was not supposed to die, not our Auntie Val. Dear family, I'm so grateful for you, for everything you've done to make her celebration of life worthy of her, and you've done remarkably. You've made us proud here. I'm grateful for this age of ever advancing technology that is allowing us to be present virtually. Thank you for making this possible. I appreciate you all and how hard you've worked through our heavy collective grief. One thing that I've learned over the years and has been further emphasized now is that tomorrow isn't promised. So enjoy today, dear family enjoy being together. Be present. Take photos. Eat that piece of cake. Say that you're sorry. Forgive one another. Don't hold grudges. And when it's safe again, embrace each other. Hold each other close. Love each other like she loved all of us. My heart is with you in this time of grief and mourning. Her family will never be the same with the loss of our matriarch, our dearest, sweetest Auntie Val. 
Dear family, I'm keeping you in my prayers. My heart goes out to all of you, and especially my Auntie Pat, Robbie, who found her, Candy, Callan, Sean, Ben, and Yolanda. My deepest sympathies to you, to you all. With love and heartfelt care from Canada.